Reform MP Lee Anderson has reacted with disdain to claims by Labour that the axing of the winter fuel payment was necessary to prevent a run on the pound. Reform MP Lee Anderson has reacted with disdain to claims that Labour were forced to scrap the winter fuel payment to stop a run on the pound. Writing on X on the day that MPs returned to Westminster following the summer break, the Ashfield MP vowed to hold Labour, insisting, the fox is back in the henhouse, in an eight-word warning to PM Keir Starmer. Sharing a picture of today's Daily Express front page which retells how the winter fuel payments chaos unfolded, the former Tory party deputy chairman added, what's next? Our OAP's bus passes. No more hiding for Sir Keir Stassi and his dancing deputy. We're back in the big house today and reform is the only party that will hold Labour to account. Get ready for them dodging the questions and running away from any scrutiny. The scrapping of the winter fuel payment which provides £200 for pensioners under 80 and £300 for those over that age, was announced within days of Chancellor Rachel Reeves taking office in an effort to save £1.5 billion. The Commons leader Lucy Powell claimed this weekend that the government was left with little choice but to make the cut, a claim that has been met with disdain from MPs and campaigners. The Commons leader suggested there would be a run on the pound if the government had not found ways to save cash to deal this year to fill a shortfall in finances. If we hadn't had done so we would have all but likely seen the markets losing confidence in this country, the cost of borrowing going up, a run on the pound possibly and the pound crashing, she said. Ms Powell was asked if she could foresee any scenario where the decision could be reversed and replied, I don't. Shadow Treasury Minister Laura Trott said the claims made by Ms Powell were not believable. She said, this simply shows how desperate the new Labour government is to run from responsibility for the tax rises they always planned but hid from the public during the election. After handing billions in inflation-busting pay rises to their union paymasters, no one believes Labour's chicken-little strategy.